welcome to my first ever vlog, which is also my science project. We had to calculate our carbon footprint, figure out a couple ways to reduce our carbon footprint, and then pick one way and implement that for 10 days. So I chose to stop eating meat for 10 days because the meat industry, including the dairy industry, but I didn't narrow in that far, but these are industries that are very harmful on the environment. You know, the livestock, they eat a lot of food. They take up a lot of land. They, they fart. It messes with the environment. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm going to not support that industry for my project. I'm excited to show you guys my journey. Okay, so here we are, day one of the project. I decided that for the next 10 days, I will not be eating meat. It's kind of something I've wanted to do for a while, and this is just kind of a good excuse to jump right into it. We are at the dining hall. They actually had some pretty good vegetarian options today. We're at lunch right now. I didn't vlog breakfast because I looked gross and my roommate was sleeping. So, here's what I picked up today in the dining hall. This is some mushroom soup. Got green beans, seasoned corn, rice with some vegetables and some tomatoes. I think there may have been okra in it. I got some salad. We have broccoli and black beans. And black beans are a good source of protein. I don't think that'll be enough protein, but oh well. And then I got a croissant. I know it's not healthy, but croissants, they were so good. Mariah has two. <laughs> Dinner time is Witch Witch. I got a superfood witch. It's a wrap with black bean patty, avocado, hummus, quinoa, red peppers, and I added ranch. This is Joshua. This is my boyfriend. He's also vegetarian, but for like normal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rodney. He's not vegetarian. But I guess right now he's eating vegetarian. I wish you did just ask for uh, just strawberries like Caroline. And I do that sometimes, but I forgot. Yeah. We're here for dinner. Day two of no meat. I'm at the dining hall. I got here a little late. So the options weren't great. So here it is, another salad, broccoli. I added a little bit of spinach in there. I don't really like spinach, but <laughs> black beans, ranch, fries, ranch, roommate, chicken. She hates the environment. <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so that's why there's no documentation of breakfast. Also, the reason my lunch video was so short was because I went to lunch with my roommate and her family and felt awkward kind of talking, so I just did a short video of the food and then got to socializing. So, there's that. Vlog day number three. We're actually eating breakfast today and we're vlogging it in my dorm because me and my roommate actually woke up at the same time. <laughs> So, today's breakfast consists of hummus and carrots. I like the carrot chips because I feel like it's easier to eat with the hummus. So far, being vegetarian has gone pretty well. I did notice that maybe it's because I'm being aware of how much I eat. You know, I want to make sure I'm getting enough calories. So, I feel like I've I can go farther in between meals without getting hungry. Like I said, I think that has to do with being aware of how much I eat, making sure I eat enough, versus the effects that meat have on your body. Usually when I get full, I get sleepy, which is still happening, but I've noticed that without meat, I don't feel heavy. I think there's a difference between your body working to digest your food versus eating and feeling 
almost gross. So that's interesting to me. But we'll see how today goes. I'm, you know, trying to eat good things like hummus, avocados, black beans, all those things that are, you know, got your fiber, your proteins, all that good stuff. So far, I think it's going well. Lunch day three. We are at the dining hall again. Even though it's 2 p.m., they were still serving breakfast. So we have eggs, because eggs are not meat. Biscuits and gravy, potatoes. I got a pancake. I also got a salad to try and balance out all this. I know it's not actually healthy. I mean, the salad is healthy. Eggs are protein. I'm sure the potatoes, I mean, starch is important. Balance the meal. Dinner, night three. I don't know if you can actually hear me because I'm kind of competing with the Super Bowl right now. They have it playing over the loudspeakers. Yeah, they didn't have a lot of good vegetarian options tonight other than salad. But I didn't get a salad. I got pasta. I don't really like squash and soup So, only got a little bit. They had bread and carrots on the side. I'm not super impressed with the vegetarian options tonight, but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Vlog day number four, no meat. We are at lunch. I did eat breakfast. I did not vlog it because my roommate was asleep. Happens. I ate some oatmeal. It was good. Had a little bit of coffee. I got some pasta noodles, some bread, corn, seasoned potatoes, and green bean. <laughs> yes, I am aware that I have a lot of carbs on my plate. A lot of starch. I just didn't want salad. And the corn looked good. And so did the potatoes. And so did the noodles. Day five, no meat. There is not a day for dinner because I did not eat dinner. Not my best choice. I just got busy and skipped it. I had a dream that I ate meat. It tasted good, but it made my stomach feel really bad. Whatever that means. So now we're on to day five breakfast. Apples and peanut butter. Good protein, good fruit. You know, just jiff and my apple slices. I do have an apple core that I use. It makes it easier to cut the apples. This is kind of my typical during the week breakfast. Now we are at lunch. I didn't want another salad and I knew they weren't serving hot food at the cafeteria. So I came down to the new student union, got myself some Kidoba. Got white rice, black beans, and queso. This is the impossible meat, it's plant-based. Corn, lettuce, pico, guacamole, all good stuff. Dinner for day five. Back at the dining hall, as you can see. I was expecting to just get a salad. They actually had some other options, so that was nice. So what I got, I don't know what this green is. I really don't, but I put it on my plate. Potatoes, little pasta with mushrooms. I did get a salad, my typical beans, broccoli, a little bit of spinach, lettuce, ranch. But they also had corn, little corn and salsa. This is corn chowder. I only got a little bit. It's really cold outside. It's Tuesday. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. I'm hoping it snows. That doesn't mean it's going to. <laughs> if it does snow and the university is closed, I'm worried that that will mean that the dining halls are closed and all that. So getting food will be a little bit harder. It is day six, I believe. I am at the dining hall per usual. It is lunchtime. I did eat breakfast, I had oatmeal and a coffee. The coffee probably wasn't a good idea. I'm not feeling good. The good news is I look amazing. It did not snow, so class did not get canceled. Might just have a nap for lunch. Naps are vegetarian. I looked around a little bit and there really isn't a whole lot 
of non-meat options other than salad and pizza and tater tots. So I ended up grabbing a slice of pizza and a slice of pita. I'm not feeling it today. Day six dinner. I ended up getting potato salad, pizza, corn. I don't know what's in that. I got black eyed peas. I don't know what I was thinking. Bacon is usually in black eyed peas, so I guess I'll just eat around it. And lentils with something. I don't, I really don't even know what it is. Update, I couldn't eat the black eyed peas. Cause there's bacon like all in it. I don't know what I was thinking. It's day seven, no meat. I feel terrible, I sound terrible, I look terrible. Like I think I just had a sinus infection, but I chose to do a vlog, so I have to document it. We have apples and peanut butter again. I know I haven't eaten very well the past few days. I'm glad that I have some healthy snacks, you know, the carrots, the hummus, I have some tea. Kicking off day seven. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> so I've come to Hubbard Hall, the new student union, and I ordered some pho. Pho is kind of the closest thing I can get to soup right now. When I'm sick, I don't want creamy soup. I want something closer to chicken noodle, but I can't have chicken noodle. <laughs> so I felt like, you know, the pho was a good choice. I'm not gonna eat it right now, but there's some broccoli, there's some basil type, got rice noodles, I got vegetable broth, a little lime, there's tofu. Last time I had the pho, it was a little bit spicy. Hopefully it's still a little bit spicy this time because, you know, that'll help to clear me up. Vlog day number seven. <laughs> my friend and my roommate don't want to be in it because they be eating meat. Their words, not mine. I got potatoes, beans, pizza, and broccoli. And water. Breakfast day eight. I have a banana and cold medicine. It's actually like 12.30. It's definitely not breakfast time. But this is what I'm starting my day with. Vlog day eight. Is it really eight? I think it is eight. I think I said that earlier. And I'm at lunch and they had a soup that looked like it would be really good for being sick, but it had chicken in it. Instead I got nachos, peanut butter, bread, not toast. The toaster didn't work. Bananas and fruit. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so sick. We're at dinner time. And I came home this weekend. We're having home cooked meals. Not home cooked. <laughs> Not tonight. We're having home bought whatever. I don't know. But bought it myself. I'm here with my mom and my lovely sister. And we're having pizza. What kind of pizza is this, mom? That is a spinach and goat cheese Ooh. pizza. For breakfast, day nine. I decided to go with a smoothie. So what I used is strawberries, bananas, blueberries. For my liquid, I used water, but I put a little bit of like a caffeine drink mix in it. I don't know if you've ever heard of Spark, but that's what I used. No, this video is not sponsored by Spark. We don't get it done. I wish. What else? Oh, I put flaxseed in it, a little bit of honey, and I put some chia seeds in it. Here's my little smoothie, my chia seeds, nice pinkish purple color. Oh, I also put coconut oil in it. And we are at lunch. And I'm with the twins. It's their first time at Taco Bell. I had to treat them to Taco Bell. Like this, yeah, like queen. I got the cheesy rice and bean burrito. Add potato, you know, we need a little bit of flair. This is usually what I get to talk about anyway, so it's a good lunch. Dinner vlog day nine. My mom made me vegetable soup. 
with vegetable broth. I'm very excited. I love homemade soup. I love homemade soup. Like I said, vegetable broth, corn, carrots, a little bit of tomatoes, green beans, onions. I think there's a little bit of potato in there, cabbage, and rice. I like rice in my soup. This is good stuff. This is I'm sick food. Sure to be a cure. Breakfast day 10. We are on our final day of vegetarianism. Today for breakfast, we are having apples and peanut butter because I've been craving it. Some of these pieces came out really like tiny. Some of them came out bigger. I don't know. You can't really tell. I used the apple core and it went in really crooked. We are at lunch. My mom made spaghetti. I love spaghetti. So we have spaghetti, meatballs that I won't be eating. A little pink sauce. I think it's like Alfredo and tomato sauce with a little pink wine or white wine mixed in there. There's a little chopped salad and this is broccoli. Also, there's bread. Soak up that sauce with. So I'm excited. Dinner time for vlog day 10. The last <laughs> vlog entry. We are at the dining hall. I got some stir fry with tofu. There's broccoli, carrots, mushrooms, lettuce, spinach. I think that's it. There's Josh. He got a waffle. It's good. This is the last vlog entry. I'll probably go back to eating meat tomorrow, but <laughs> less meat for sure. Texas never tasted so good. That is it for my 10 day carbon footprint project. I hope, well, I hope I made an A. Let's just put that out there. There are tons of things you can do to help with the climate crisis that we're in right now you don't have to just not eat meat whatever effort you're making is effort and that's what counts that'll make a world of difference so if anyone other than my professor views this i hope it was a good one thanks for watching save the environment